Kevin, thank you. Six UW-Madison students are without a home and most of their belongings after a fire ripped through their house on West Washington Avenue early this morning. WMTV's Shana Dejawin talked with them this afternoon, and Shana, they were shocked. They have no idea how it started, and it was so early in the morning. That's right, 5 o'clock in the morning. They were all sleeping on the second floor of the house when they heard loud noises coming from downstairs. One of them went to see what the commotion was when someone started urgently knocking on their front door. I immediately just said, hey Siri, call 911. This is the moment early Wednesday morning when Lolly Walsh made a life-saving knock on her neighbor's door. I glance over at my window and all of a sudden all I see is just like orange. You know, my, my blinds are closed, but the whole thing was lit up. We all woke up to different things. Just before 5 a.m., the six roommates were sleeping when Nina Davidovich and Olivia Abel heard commotion coming from downstairs. At first, we're like, okay, who's making food? Like, quiet down. That's when Davidovich left her room and saw the flames. Everyone started screaming, fire, fire, get out, get out. I was asleep, and I woke up to Nina actually yelling, get out, get out. The six made it out safely, but they still don't know how the fire began. We all were outside and we're like, what do we leave on? Do we leave the stove on? You know, it was a distraction and we're all kind of blaming ourselves for it. It's one of three fires that happened in the downtown area Wednesday morning. But Madison Fire hasn't confirmed whether the incidents are related. And then when we found out that there was multiple within the same hour. It's just, it just like scary to think that somebody's just yeah. going around doing that for fun or for whatever reason. The juniors who moved in just three weeks ago are unsure of what's next. We have classes, we're all students, trying to make it through classes, um, as well as just like finding a new place to live because now we are homeless with nowhere. Some apartment complexes, such as Olive Madison, have offered the students a place to stay at a reduced cost. But with damages estimated at around $500,000, loved ones have began a GoFundMe in support of the women. Live in the studio, Shana Najawin, WMTV 15 News. Shana, thank you. This was one of three fires this morning, as you heard. The two others were dumpster fires and happened on Langdon Street and the intersection of West Johnson and State Streets. Now, both happened between 4 and 5 a.m., which is also the period when the West Washington fire happened. Authorities are looking for a person of interest, kind of tiny on the screen there, so you should definitely go to our website to get a better view of this person of interest. If you see him, call that number right there on your screen.